Hey, I'm Natalie, an astrophysicist from the Institute for Research on Exoplanets, and I'm going to help you today to make observations number 9, 10, and 11 of the Lookup Challenge, the constellation of Orion, the bright star Aldebaran, and the Pleiades star cluster. Do you remember when we talked about constellations when we observed the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia? They're the drawings we can imagine in the sky when we connect stars with imaginary lines. Observation number nine is the constellation of Orion. In ancient times, people imagined a hunter in the sky, the hunter Orion. You can recognize him easily by his belt, drawn by three very bright stars all in a row. To find Orion, look for the shape of a large hourglass in the sky. In the evening, around 6.30 p.m., you'll find him a little above the horizon if you look southeast. But if you wait until after New Year's Day to observe him, he'll be even higher up in the sky in the evening, making him easier to spot. The later you can observe Orion in the sky, the better, because he climbs higher up later in the night. Starting from Orion's belt, we can now look at our observation number 10, Aldebaran. You can see a very bright star towards the top right of Orion. This is Aldebaran. It's very bright because it's a giant star, much bigger than our sun. And it's pretty close to the sun too, only 65 light years away. That sounds far, but it's still in the solar neighborhood. Recently, astronomers spotted a planet around Aldebaran, a gas giant planet, a few times more massive than Jupiter. The planet is called Aldebaran B and is actually an exoplanet since it's outside our solar system. That means when you look at the star Aldebaran, you're also looking at an exoplanet. How cool is that? Our last observation in this part of the sky is observation number 11, the Pleiades. To find the Pleiades, start from the star Aldebaran and look for a bunch of small stars grouped together just a little higher up on the right. The Pleiades is a star cluster. This means that lots and lots of stars were all formed at about the same time from the same cloud of gas and dust, like lots of brothers and sisters all born together. In fact, the Pleiades are sometimes even called the Seven Sisters. They formed not too long ago, just 100 million years ago. That sounds long, but it's much younger than our sun, who is 4.5 billion years old. When we look at the Pleiades, we see the most massive and brightest stars in the cluster. The better your vision and the darker the sky, the more stars you'll be able to see. In the city, you might just see a blurry spot, like a smudge in the sky. But just think of how cool it is that that smudge is actually a huge cluster of lots of super bright stars hundreds of light years away. Good luck with your observations of Orion, Aldebaran, and the Pleiades. Take care of yourselves. And don't forget to look up.